They are sprinting away from the 1200 meter marker. Towards the inside, the favourite, Warm Night Alice, is right there. The Black Sleeves and Cap Burfies in the all orange caster cat, a good place. Dorothy Mayers towards the outside, just in front of Electro Diva. Zanzara has the red cap about two or three lengths off the leader. Princess Ratatouille is further back over on the inside. Silent Flyer with the white noseband. Queen's Diamond's about five lengths off them at this stage. Then Cherry Hill as they move towards the 600 meter region. Butterfee just the leader. Warm Night Alice is second. Yellow Cap back in third in Yachty. Silent Flyers over on the inside. Caster Cat. They are followed further back by Dorothy the leader. On the inside, Warm Night Alice. In Yachty is trying to come forward now. Princess Ratatouille. 200 to go. Warm Night Alice in Yachty and Butterfee. Three of them across the track and there's nothing to choose. In Yachty now. And Warm Night Alice. They're having a terrific struggle. Warm Night Alice and in Yachty. Warm Night Alice finding a little bit extra and won it. Warm Night Alice from Inyati back in second. Butterfee, Queen's Diamond and Zanzari involved in the next photo. A terrific struggle and it's going to go to number 16, Warm Night Alice. You'll see she changes her legs inside the 75. There we go. She changes her leg at that stage, and that's when she found that extra burst. A lovely close-up of that. She changed her leg. She found that extra. She ends up winning a half length from number 11, in Yati back in second. Third place, if we run it across, it gets close. Third goes to Barfi. Uh, fourth is Zenzara, Queen's Diamond on the inside. Then Madame Access, Princess Ratatouille is further back in the run. And they were followed by Cherry Hill. And then came Electro Diva, Caster Cat. See the seas, then Dorothy May, Badge and Chocolate. So, Warm Night Alice, extreme left-hand side. The stick is in the right hand at this stage. And Yachty still racing green with the yellow cap and Burfi between the two of them. And you'll see Anthony changes his stick. There he goes. She changes her legs, as I showed you in that slow-mo replay. And then she goes on to score, and she'll score by a half length. So, Warm Night Alice, number 16, the hot favorite at 150 prevails. Second, number 11 in Yachty. It was showing 860 and 140 until the running of race five. Back to the studio. Bred by the Claver Flay stud for the Eusters, Warm Night Alice, the daughter of a warm white knight, has put it together second time of asking. And she looked a lot more alert today going down. She was sheltered, and I think, thank goodness, you know, the going looks pretty fast, and uh, you, you kind of needed to be, you know, in the hunt from the beginning, I think. And uh, obviously the experience of the first run, I think, you know, it, it counted today. Um, Philly, for my money, she's always been looking for a mile, or will go a mile, and, uh, you know, she's quite a late fall, November fall, so she's got a lot of improvement to come. My feeling, I think she's got a bright future. 100% strike rate. We saw you with perpetual silence the other day, and now with this one, so well done. Yeah, well, it's about time we had a little bit of luck because it's been a pretty bleak winter so far, but uh, still got the Gold Cup to come. Well done. Thanks, Sheldon. Well done to Jeff Woodruff. Anton Marcus has kindly excused himself. He's ridden Warm Night Alice. He's kept her up to the task at hand, and he changed the whip inside the 100 and just managed to seal the deal. Keep an eye on the runner-up, number 11 in Yachty. Next time out, that's a strike.